Hello friends, welcome to another episode of our Corridor Effect series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this subscribe drop shadow inside of Corridor. Without having to waste time, let's get started. So the first thing is I click on new. So for this, I'll be using RGB and um, I'm just going to change this to pixels. So I'll be using 1920 by 1080 like this. And um, when I'm done, I'm just going to click OK like this. Great. Okay, double click on the rectangle like we've done in previous videos. I'm going to give it a white color like this. Remove the outline that way. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that background color red and I'm going to go to my rectangle and I'm just going to draw the rectangle like this. Right? And I'm going to give it a white color. Of course, I'm going to get rid of this outline by right clicking here. Right? Easy peasy. Of course, I want rounded corners, so I'm going to go to my shape tool and I'm going to click and drag like this to give it the rounded corner that I desire. So you can increase this or decrease it based on how rounded you want the corners to actually be. Right? Great. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I would go ahead and make a duplicate copy of this same rectangle. I'm going to make this color a black color like this. That's for the shadow, right? So um, before I go for that, I would apply the text. So I'm just going to type out subscribe using my text tool. And I'm going to drag it here. And of course, I'm going to change the font to what I used here. That's Mont Heavy. Okay, so with my shape tool still selected, I'm going to reduce the spaces in between like this. And I'm just going to, from the edges, make sure you are resizing from the edges like this and not from the top or the bottom, always from the edges, right? Okay, so for this, I'm going to give this, this color. So I'm going to move this one to this point here. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and um, convert it to curves so that I'll be able to manipulate it further. So I'm going to right click here, when you see this S, right, when it turns S like this, S for sheep, right click and click on to curve, move this upward like this, and um, when you're done with that, I'm just going to move it closer to it like this, and um, control page down, or you go to order and um, select yes order and select yes this is what you use so at this point it will still be selected so you can use your arrow key the up arrow key on your keyboard to adjust it then go to blur apply some blur to it and um, you can see how it's looking more like a shadow now click ok right so click on transparency apply uniform transparency and uh, bring this down a little bit so it's not too much okay um, I love this to be a little bit more rounded select the shadow and hold down shift and move it inside like this and um, yes at this point increase this one also and um, yeah, there you go. So you can actually use this on a different background and um, also on this background too. So guys, this is how to create this realistic drop shadow inside of Coral Draw. If you've liked my video and um, you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the right time to subscribe. And please don't forget to turn on post notifications. I'll see you in the next video.